Yeah, good morning and welcome to my video podcast. My name is Esselgene E. Duffy. I work with Sports Radio 80.9 Brilla FM. Uh, you can reach us on www.brillafm.net. Uh, I like getting involved on topical issues, especially sporting issues and other issues. This morning, I want to look at the, the new vote. People talk about Cristiano Ronaldo already a given as the Ballon d'Or winner. Yeah, he's got 50 goals this past season. He won the UEFA Champions League. He was the top scorer, you know, overall. First player to get the double figures from the group stage out of six games played. He scored 11 goals. Everything seems to point to that fact. But then he lost that in the league in Spain. He lost that in the Copa del Rey in Spain. As well, uh, towards the end of the season, his form was not really that fantastic. Portugal actually won the Euro winning only one game in open play and then you know taking games into extra time beating Poland on penalties you can say that and all that factors uh, Lionel Messi on the other hand won the Copa del Rey won the La Liga but didn't do too well but we wouldn't say that uh, Lionel Messi was the overall best player for Barcelona in this season that has just passed we wouldn't also say that he was the overall best player for Argentina in the Copa America or the Copa Centenario that went down in the United States of America. Overall, in the competition, it was Alexis Sanchez that was the best player. Uh, in my own part, I don't think that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player overall from the Euro. It's neither the highest goal scorer. So there is some setback. Cristiano Ronaldo, as well, is not the best player from the La Liga last season. So there is a whole lot to look at and ask yourself on what basis would anyone conclude that Cristiano Ronaldo? is already the European Footballer of the Year and the World Footballer of the Year. And the season is still going to start from August and between August and January or probably August and December, there's plenty of football games to be played. Uh, he's just got injured now. We don't know when he's going to come back. And even if he comes back, he's going to come back in best of form. What if Luis Suarez show you know, some astronomical form between August and December? What if some other player blew everybody apart? What if Zlatan Ibrahimovic, for instance, you know, get a very wonderful start at Manchester United and blow everybody out of water and it's the Manchester United on all front. What if? There are so many what if. Uh, a lot of people have given it to Cristiano Ronaldo. I do a show on radio and this morning, for instance, I conducted a poll and everybody just piled up for Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, I don't know. At my stage here right now, I don't know who to pick. I think football is going back to the days where the pool is getting broader. For, for a very long time now, we've had it just straightforward between Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. And Neymar is beginning to come into the party. We don't know how it's going to perform at the Olympics. Uh, Suarez is already in the party. A few other players are going to come in. Uh, it's difficult to count uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic for now because of his performance at the Euro. But what about Gareth Bale? What about uh, Aaron Ramsey? What about a few other players? Well, uh, a whole lot still needs to be looked at if we really going to see. Uh, I quite agree that Cristiano Ronaldo leads the line right now, but that's all there is to see. Is he the clear cut favorite? Well, I leave that for you to judge. I leave that for you to look at and say. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who's uh, subscribed to my video podcast on YouTube. Those of you who view it, those of you who liked it, those of you who thumbs it down, uh, it's, there's always room for improvement, there's room for correction. I will keep doing that, but I remain your brother and your friend. Thank you very much for viewing my video podcast.